Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be finishing up the Cerax 1000 watt Bafang G510 e-bike build from AliExpress. As you can see, the bike is back from powder coat, looks absolutely amazing. What we're going to cover in this video is specifically the electronics install uh, of the bike. We're not going to cover any of the installation of the basic components. With that said, let's cover the order of operations uh, for the install on this kit. When you get the kit, the first thing that you're going to want to do is immediately just toss in the battery and the motor. And I'm going to explain why that's not a good idea. The first thing that you should do is go ahead and install any of the components that are required to be run internally in the frame. So this is going to be your brake lines, if you're running a dropper post, the rear derailleur cables, all of that needs to be ran inside the frame. Because when we go to install the motor, uh, you won't be able to run those components underneath the motor. So you got to have all of that in place before we go to install the motor. The second thing we will do is install the motor. And then the third thing is we'll install the battery to finish the installation. One of the things I do want to point out that you need to pay attention to during the installation is the power cord and the adapter that goes to the battery. This cord can be installed in either orientation, but it only works in one orientation. When you saw me do my previous video where I hooked up the system and showed how it worked, I plugged this into the battery and the system powered up with no issues. However, when I did the initial installation for the motor and battery on this bike, I did not pay attention to the way that this cable gets plugged into the battery. And when I couldn't power on the system, I installed and uninstalled the motor and battery over a dozen times before I finally realized that it was this plug that was the issue because it can fit in the battery in either orientation. So the first thing you'll want to do is check which way is the positive lead uh, direction for the power cord. From there, I automatically set my two mounting hardware so that I can't get confused when I go to install it inside the frame. So with that said, the first thing that we're going to install is the Bafang display and the, and the controller for the drive settings. This is going to require us to remove all of the components from the bars as well as the bar from the stem to install the display. So let's hop on that. You do not need to remove the controls on the left side to install the, the remote controller. This will stretch over the bar. Now that we have the display installed, 
we're going to move on to mounting the speed sensor which gets mounted here on the left side of the bike and there are two options for 27 and a half and 29 inch mounting points and the magnet gets installed on the spoke we're going to feed the plug end of the wire through the gap in the rear front rear of the frame out into the motor compartment One of the things I want to mention, if you plan on running the thumb throttle with the Bafang kit, you do need to order the extension cord that goes with it. It's about $10 on Amazon because the cord that comes with the throttle is not long enough to make it to the e-bus harness on the inside of the frame. We're now going to run the main e-bus wiring harness, which plugs into the display as well as the throttle. Okay, next. This is the crucial part. We're going to be installing this plug and mounting it to the bus bar inside the frame. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's very crucial that you know which way this plugs into the battery. So in this case, I've already put, I figured that out and I put the two mounting brackets in the orientation that I know they go against the frame. Uh, this will ensure that it doesn't get mixed around after I figured it out before mounting it inside the frame. So let's mount this up and we're going to run this wire through the opening in the back of the frame down into the motor compartment. Okay, so at this point, we have all of our wires, our main e-bus cable, our power cord cable, rear derailleur, dropper post, and rear brake line ran underneath where the motor's going to mount, as well as our speed sensor. I cannot emphasize this enough, that when you install the motor, Space is going to be very tight under here for all of the wires. Do not force the motor down on top of this. Uh, you're going to have to move the wires around and massage them to get the motor to go all the way down where you need it to go. One of the things that can help is drilling out the mounts where the motor mounts to. The pins that go through to, to bolt the motor to the frame are very precise. If you take a drill bit and open those up a little bit, it'll give you a little bit more leeway to get the motor in there. If you try to force the motor down, you can break these connectors or, like I did, you can actually cut some of the wires by pinching them between the mounting surface and the motor. So be very careful when putting the motor in not to force it down in here and break something. So this is my strategy. There's a little bit of space on the, what would be the left side of the motor when the bike is upright. 
there's a little bit of space here because this is the side that this cover that is the side that this cover gets mounted to to hide the mounting hardware for the motor there is some room back here to tuck some wires so what I do is I pull all the wires to this side that I'm gonna need so that's the the speed sensor everything else that's not being used which is actually most of these wires you're gonna use this main e-bus and this speed cable these three are not going to be used I feed these cables down into the seat post where the internal routing for the uh, dropper post is these other two wires I feed out this way and then the power cables I feed forward into our main power cable there's enough room in here for the battery and extra wire so you can see how long I've left this cable this will all fit in there with the battery without having to trim it or fight for space so let's have a look here's how I have my cables ran I've got the three derailleur seat post brake line ran in the middle so that I can push those flat I've got my two power leads on the right here again in an orientation that they can be as flat as possible because getting the motor pressed down is going to be very difficult and then I've got my e-bus cable over here on the right and you can see I can lay all these down pretty flat and then as far as the speed cable goes that'll be ran over here on the right side like I mentioned before these pins can be very difficult to get in what I do is I get the front pin in first and then because the three cables run through here they're not as flexible as wire so there's a little bit of spring back as you bend those cords pushing them down so I'll get the pin started and then what I'll do is I'll press it down and then I'll hammer that pin in. Once you get both sides in, the middle pin goes in pretty easily. All right, so now we got all three pins in. You can see them coming through the other side here. What we'll do is we'll put all the hardware on and tighten that down. And I'll show you what I do with the speed sensor cable. I take this and there's a good bit of room in here I just tuck this up in here and that'll be completely hidden and that'll be completely hidden by the the motor cover that goes on this side The last step to the electronics process is installing the battery. I find that this is easiest to do with the bike upright, lifting the battery up into the compartment and then letting it slide down, locking onto the bus bar and the, uh, the power plug in at the bottom. This may require you to move some of the cables out of the way to get it up in there.
right, so once we have the battery installed, what we'll do is we will stash all these wires either beside the battery or in front of the battery. All right, next we're gonna put the cover on. Most of the cords will fit either beside the battery or in front of the cover. Like I mentioned before, there's plenty of room between the cover and the front of the battery and beside the battery to stash all of the cables. All right, at this point, the only thing left to do is to install the 44 tooth sprocket that came with the kit, as well as the retaining nut, and then the pedals. You will require a special tool for this to tighten this down. Oh, and it's left-handed thread. Once we have the sprocket tightened down, we can move on to installing the cranks. All right guys, while we still have the chain off here, what we're gonna do is power on the system. There are multiple different power settings for eco and sport mode. This is adjustable inside the settings. But what we'll do is We'll just do a quick throttle test to make sure that everything is working properly. So we'll just give the thumb throttle a little twist. And we can see that everything is working as it should. And that's it. That's the entire install for the, for the electronics. So there it is, guys. That's everything you need to know to install the electronics on the Serax. 1000 watt Bafang G510 e-bike from AliExpress. It's really not that difficult, uh, but you do need to double check some things before you do the install. You also need to take your time when installing the motor um, because it is a really tight fit and the cables, there's not a whole lot of room for them. It doesn't require many tools. It doesn't require a level of expertise but it does require a little bit of patience, taking your time and making sure that you install the system correctly. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you wanna see a long-term review on this bike or any of the AliExpress components that uh, build out this entire e-bike, definitely subscribe to the channel and follow along in those videos as I'll be updating uh, with long-term reviews on all of these, these products uh, throughout the course of the riding season. Thanks for watching.